Hello everybody to the second bug of the week episode. I'm again joined by Methods. Hey. And XCOM is also there, but he has no microphone at the moment. The focus of today's episode is on pistons and especially on stuff that you can place on top of pistons. So since 1.9, we are able to place those blocks on top of pistons, but there's just a little downside. If you retract them again, then everything pops off. Uh, maybe a little funny story why we are able to place stuff on pistons now. So apparently at some point somebody made a bug report because he wanted to place a flower pot on top of a piston because he thought this was look nice. So this bug report was there for a few months, received zero upvotes and then Gram decides we need to fix this. So ever since 1.9 pistons have a solid surface because of that, so you can place the important flower pot on top of it. But yeah, not too much care went into this bug fix because we have all the side effects that of course stuff pops off because a piston is actually turned into a, a so-called block ext extension block uh, when it's extending or retracting. And yeah, that's why stuff pops off because the piston changes state. Uh, there's also a little yeah, difference between sideways and downwards pistons. So as you saw before, if you have a downwards piston, the stuff stays on top during the extension and pops off in, at the retraction. But if you have uh, sideways pistons, then stuff pops, pops off immediately, as you can see here. Okay, so we thought this would be a good material for Buck of the Week, because it would be super useful if you could actually place stuff on top of pistons and activate them. And XCOM made a little modification of the game, we want to show you what we could do um, yeah, with this modification. Alright, so now we're running a modified version of the game where Reds and Dust doesn't pop off. As you can see, this would be useful mostly for compacting because you could do stuff like this. And yeah, XCOM changed it in a way that it would also wouldn't pop off if you have something like this. Oops. So this would also be yeah, kind of useful, I guess. You could also have something like this here and push blocks under it. So definitely for compacting, this would be super useful. Um, there's, but there's one good use um, here for components popping off. You could make a simple zero tick generator um, with the bug that stuff pops off. So you can see here, you get a super simple zero tick generator. Just have to place a button on top of a sticky piston. This way you can get a zero tick post generator. Okay, so that's it for the bug of the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Bye.